Hello fellow YouTubers and welcome to my channel. I just thought I'd make this video as a little introduction to myself and my channel and what the channel is going to be about. Um, first of all, an introduction to myself. My name is Harrison, I'm 32 and I've uh, taught myself in various different aspects of repairing and maintaining vehicles. Um, I've dealt with many different vehicles. Uh, I've currently got, I've worked on Jeeps, I've worked on Mercs, I've worked on so many different things, but it's all predominantly for my own personal pleasure and gain. And like anyone else, when you get a little bit stuck, you tend to follow the internet and try and find out what's going on with something that may not be right with your vehicle. And yes, I know I may be sounding like I'm going to be another wannabe mechanic on YouTube, but the idea behind my channel is I feel like I've got something to give that nobody else has done it yet. And what that is, is hence now going on to my channel. My channel is called The ZX Guy because even though I've had multiple vehicles, I've always stayed relatively true to the Citroen badge. And my current fleet of vehicles has three Citroens in it at the moment two of which are both ZX's and they're very unwell and a little bit poorly. Both of which need some serious love, mechanical maintenance and yeah, they both need um, pretty much a full engine rebuild. So considering there's nothing on YouTube, nothing on the internet, I thought it might be an idea for me to help like-minded people. I'm not stating that I'm a mechanic, I'm not stating I'm a technician, I'm just self-taught in everything I do so basically if you like what you see on this channel like, uh, like follow and subscribe and help my channel grow because that would be much appreciated but if you don't then I'm sorry but I'm going to try and do this anyway um, anyway um, going on to a bit more about the channel basically I am going to on my little blue ZX, I um, back in October I run through some knee-high water and hydro got the engine. This will still start, but it's not very happy. And I've also got a little white one point. That was a diesel. I've also got a white 1.8 uh, petrol, which I've had for about a year. And let's just say I've uh, pretty much bought it from the chap I bought it from put it in the garage and sort of forgotten about it and that's annoyed me a little bit because I want to get it done so hopefully you guys can follow me through all the bumps and uh, curves on the way as far as getting this done um, now what I'm planning to do on this video is a little bit of a walk around of my 1.8 ZX Aurora um, and um, show you everything that it is wrong with it, how clean or it is, because it's a relatively clean motor for its age. And then I'll do a walk around and a little um, parts list as well on the blue 1.9 diesel. And um, yeah, so I'm actually in my garage at the moment as we speak. So if I can, I'm just, so yeah, as, far as YouTube goes though, fixing cars is one of my strong points. Working out how to do the video recording is not one of my strong points. So I'm going to say I will be one moment. And I am going to try and use editing software and patch these in, but if not I'll just have to redo it. But this is my little 1.8 ZX Aurora cracking little motor, fantastic in condition I believe they're Vulcan wheels may or may not have come with it as standard but I'm not clever enough to know that it does however have the Typical ZX thingy, and no, this vehicle is not locked because this is the interior. Relatively pristine and immaculate. 
and let's just take you in the oven door and this has got 119,495 miles on the clock next to no fuel but I can put some in when I need to um, that all works on this that all works on this model and I know the code for it doesn't work on my my other one electric windows at the front and talking on the subject of windows one problem this has got is no this hasn't been wound down this is a moving panel the window regulator has gone but it is a wind up regulator and I have got one for it <coughs> now let's just And as you might agree, I don't know how well this is coming up on the video, but a really clean and tidy engine bay. It will start, but this has got a bottom end knocking noise. And if I can prop you up somewhere, I will start it up and show you what it sounds like. Okay, two, bear with me on that one. Right, so take two on the start up, this time with a booster pack, because it started a little while ago to get it out of the garage, but for some reason it wasn't enough juice in there to start it this time. So take two on start up. And it's a little bit painful to listen to, so that's why I don't want to run it long. Basically, um, bottom end's gone, it's leaking oil, and as a result, it needs uh, engine rebuild, which I am capable of doing. I just haven't got round to doing it. And also to find those bottom bearings and bottom shims is a bit of a pain in the backside. Um, so I will cut that there for a moment and we will go back to my home address where the other ZX is and we'll do a little bit of a walk around on that. Welcome back. I am now at home and as promised I will do the walk around on my ZX but before I start that this is my third Citroen because um, I had mentioned in earlier in the video about having three citrons I will show you this one quickly as well this is my um, work vehicle as far as tip runs dump uh, anything really so let's lock that up I got that as well which is a jeep steering box is gone so i need to sort all that steering out and then we've got the zx here is this it's just i think this boot will open nope okay no it won't okay typical so let's just uh Show you the inside of this. This is a bit worse for wear, this one. But I'd try and start that back off roughly where I left off, but I had someone turn up. Sorry about that. Um, 
So basically, as I was saying, this is a bit worse for wear, this one. The um, back seat panel doesn't lock in properly. This is all broken and mangled. As far as the clips down there are concerned, all the door locks lock and unlock whenever they feel fit that like they want to. Um, but that's pretty much a typical. These door handles don't work. They're gone. Um, this is a bit more of a basic, slightly more basic model because thingy. The other one had speakers in the back. This has speakers in the back, but I installed them myself. Um, so yes, I'd cut the cards, but oh well. Um, and yeah, pretty much there's that. In the front, we've got speakers again as thingy. And we've got this one as 1.9 diesel. This one has done, let's just put some shade in there so you can see it better. Uh, 143,000. 313 doesn't have the original zx radio because well this was at one point my daily driver and my everything vehicle it would do my tip runs take my mum shopping take me shopping take me to work it would do everything hence why base box controller and this is what i was on about this panel flashes away nicely but you don't need a code it just doesn't do anything um and yeah, basically, um, that's that. First problem found with YouTube. Can't get a five minutes piece when you're trying to record a video. Sorry about that, guys. But anyway, I've just popped the bonnet. We will um, have a look in the engine bay. Oh, these wheels are something I acquired. They were originally having Peugeot badges in the thingy, but I, in the centre, cut them off and paddled them down sprayed them up and as far as I'm concerned they're now ZX wheels they're not but it's fine I feel like an idiot I can't get the bonnet open now the bonnet's open this is a little bit worse for wears a little bit of rust and crust down here little bit of welding work being done up here I had that done for the MOT last time it's currently still got valid MOT until March but I don't think it'll be able to, I don't think I'll be lucky enough to get it on the road before that expires but that's fine so this like I said is the 19 XUD diesel engine and not too much of a bad engine bay but could be better but then I suppose it is 20 four years old p reg yeah 24 25 years old something like that um but yeah the um back more on the, it's a little bit more on the interior though we've got loose back on the front seat broken seat belt buckle there so that needs sorting driver's seat has completely collapsed and torn and that's not very pleasant when you're getting in and out of the car but we will get you can follow you guys can follow me through the process of redoing all this interior i think i'll focus on the engine first but we will get the interior done carpets will get cleaned and this is going to get a light not a full restoration but a light restoration i'm not confident enough to do a full restoration i'm not that clever um Right. Now, what we'll do is we will start her up. Wait for the light to go out. And I won't annoy the neighbours anymore because that will literally fill the street up with smoke. 
because as you can tell by me starting that up it's not very happy it's completely underpowered and will barely move under its own steam but like i said i'm fully capable of doing it and hopefully you guys will follow me along the way of getting this done um so yeah i'd like to just end this introductory video there hopefully it's not going to come out too long and too long-winded but um that is literally just my little introduction to myself like i said my introduction to my channel i'm called the zx guy um and i'm hopefully going to allow people to see all the ins and outs of how to rebuild a citroen zx diesel engine because the, the blue this blue diesel one that i'm currently sitting in is going to get the love first um because it's been sitting on my driveway staring at me every day saying fix me fix me but it's like it is always i've either got the time but no money or i've got the money but no time and unfortunately it's a bit tricky to get both so i am currently doing part-time um mum's disabled so that's one of the reasons why i'm part-time but i'm also going to utilize that to hopefully get some work on this done just to help keep me occupied because even though if my mum needs me i'll literally just be outside the front door on the driveway working on this and run back in and help her if she needs to and like i said it allows me to add this kind of content for you guys because when i needed help with something i can't remember what it is now but it's a case of there wasn't anything so zx fans if anyone else wants to do work on a zx on a diesel hopefully in the next couple of months time i'll be starting to work on the petrol one as well and um yeah um i'll leave that video pretty much there um sorry if i've bored you but like i said i'm still new to the channel i'm still learning um so any comments would be much appreciated and if you like what you see and you like the sound of what this channel is going to become like follow subscribe share it with everyone um and i'll see you in the next video bye